What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Will coming at you with another video. So we're going to talk about today, we're going to head outside right now, and we're going to go ahead and talk about everything that is done to my 2009 BMW 328i. If you don't know, because uh, I get asked quite a bit on the channel, and so every now and then I just like to make one of these, uh, you know, current mods and specs, so to speak, video. Uh, you know, just to kind of get it all, um, you know, just, just so that everyone knows and what's going on. Because since I did the last one, there have been a few updates, nothing really major. The car still makes the same power as it did in that video. So if you just want to go check that video out, I will card that here. And uh, you can probably get a little more detailed information than what I'm about to do here, because um, I'm not going to recap too much, but I am going to kind of briefly go over everything. So uh, I've got a list here on the phone. Try to help me through this video so I don't make sure I don't forget anything. All right, so first thing we've got this. Let me actually let's film with the car behind me. It'll look better. Sorry, it's not perfectly clean. Uh, it's cleaner than it has been lately. Uh, I am going to get this car. Uh, professionally detailed well I mean I say professionally the guy does it out of his house but he does a really good job so it's it's professional uh, so this car is tuned custom tuned on the dyno by BPC uh, I want to say that it, came, it made like 205 wheel horsepower and like 192 wheel torque or something on a dyno jet um, you know and maybe it can make more power in the future I mean I know it can maybe it will maybe it won't uh, we'll just see Anyway, uh, as you can see also, it sits pretty low, sitting on coilovers. These are STV1 coilovers or STX coilovers. And uh, yeah, you can't really see them, but I mean, you can definitely see that the car sits lower than uh, stock. Probably sits about the same height as an M Sport does. Maybe a tad lower in the front, and this is probably about the same in the back. We will talk about the exhaust system on this car. So uh, it is what I would term as a custom exhaust, what some people might term as uh, gutting the exhaust. Uh, it has a Magnaflow muffler. I will link that Magnaflow muffler in the description. I think it's selling for about $95 on Amazon right now. Uh, I've been very happy with it. I have secondary cat delete and a resonator delete. Um, that is all that is done to it. So it's basically a nice exhaust setup on a budget. We can move next to the intake system. So my intake system has been through several iterations. Uh, originally I did a charcoal filter delete uh, and you know I, I felt a good bit of power from that. Uh, I'll card a video for that one right here and then I followed that up with a intake resonator delete and that was also very nice. I replaced it with a silicone tube and uh, let's see. Next thing I did was the three-stage intake manifold and I paired that with the tune and that was a really good mod. The three-stage intake manifold by itself really did absolutely nothing and made my gas mileage go to complete and total crap but after the tune it went way up and uh, it's, it's been great ever since. Uh, also this isn't really an intake but it goes in the same area so I'm going to include it with that. I did a cowl filter delete and uh, then also I have the uh, BMW OEM European intake which is much better than the ones that come on these US cars and I will card that video. If you haven't seen that, I really suggest go checking it out. That is one of the best things. I mean, just redoing the entire intake system on this car. One of the best things you can possibly do for the car. All right, so this isn't a mod that you can really see in any way, shape, or form. But I did use the Carly for BMW coding app to uh, get some pretty cool features on here, like these fold-up windows. They'll fold down when I unlock it. Can roll the windows down from the key fob. I have a video all about coating. I have a video about rolling the windows down. You can roll them back up. If you hold it long enough, it will also do the sunroof. Uh, what else does it do? I coated the angel eyes to be the daytime running lights, which are also LED, and we'll talk about those a little bit more in just a couple of seconds. So let's do the exterior mods now. Now, as you can see, these are not stock wheels, although they do kind of have that OEM plus look to them. They are VMR V703s. They are eight and a half inches wide in the front, nine and a half inches wide in the back, and the fronts have a plus 35 offset, and the rears have a plus 33 offset. Now I blacked out my kidney grills. I blacked them out with Plasti Dip at first, but I did, the Plasti Dip started looking dingy after a few months, so I removed it and then painted them black, gloss black, and they looked really nice for a while, and they still look nice until you get really close to them. And as you can see, the paint is chipping in several places. Uh, the camera is really trying to focus on that big chip on the left. 
Uh, there's also several other little ones, but it's not really picking them up as well. And I think those just come from, you know, uh, chips on the road. I do a ton of highway driving. You can see there's chips in the hood too. I'm about to get those fixed. Uh, my guy said that he's be able to take care of those all for me, no problem. So next thing I did, which is not on the car anymore, but I blacked out the reflectors on the bumpers on my original factory bumper that was not the M Sport bumper. And uh, it looked really good. It was a pretty good job. I have a video on how I did that. Um, but it wasn't enough for me. So after damaging a little bit of my other bumper, I went ahead and upgraded to the M Sport bumper. And this is just a really nice upgrade. Looks way more aggressive to me, uh, you know. And I did have to get adapters to make the fog lights work, but they were like $5 on eBay, so really no big deal. Then, as I stated before, I have these Gen C LED angel eyes in the car, and they are very nice. They were like $45. Unfortunately, the link that I have for them goes dead often, but it usually comes back online. But when it's dead, it reroutes to the ones for the uh, xenon bulbs, so I don't want to link it and you know have people buying the xenon ones for xenons. So, uh... I don't, you know, just um, search Amazon for it. It'll tell you if it fits the car for halogen or not. All right, so now we can do the interior and we'll wrap this thing up. All right, guys, I haven't done the interior of the car, so don't judge me. So one of the first things I did was get these little M Sport door sills for the door jabs. And when the light's not reflecting and you can't see it on camera, they look pretty nice. They're not M the same as the M3 ones. These are just the ones that come on the M Sport models. I upgraded the interior to LED bulbs, which you can see right there. It doesn't really do you justice in the daytime, but I um, can link you to a video where I installed these. One of my first videos might be a tad cringeworthy, but the point is valid and the install procedure is correct. And then my last video was on the BMW Performance Parking Brake with Alcantara and uh, I think I'm about to try out my new Alcantara cleaner on it soon but it's very nice I love the little brushed aluminum trim that's probably actually really plastic on the top and the Alcantara just feels so good on your hand it's really great anyway guys that pretty much covers everything big and small that I've done to this car uh, I may have like overlooked something. I mean, I have a little M uh, license plate frame on there. All right, so now let's talk about future mods real quick. So uh, last night I emailed Beamer Performance Center in Raleigh. They are the people that tuned. My There's a mosquito flying in front of the lens. So the people that tuned the BMW on their dyno about um, headers and modified intake lift valves and how much everything would cost to do all of that. And uh, it's expensive. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. I mean. They're, they're selling, the headers are selling for like $900, Active Auto Works. Um, so you're, you're spending a lot, you know. Damn, these bugs out here, guys. I might have to, we're going to make this quick and wrap it up. Uh, I hope this, like, camera angle doesn't look horrible because I'm using this footage. I'm not redoing this. I'm getting eaten alive. Uh, so, yeah, 800 They said 800 for the install, uh, $1,000 for changing the valve cover and the valve cover gasket and installing the modified intake lift valves. They said they do not supply the parts, so I'll have to find them myself, and I, I don't know where to get them even. So there's that. Uh, what else have I... I have put wrote down a list. So I have thought about M3 uh, sway bars, front and rear, and control arms. Um, you know, the... The, the parts aren't really that expensive for that. The labor is going to get me for that rear. I can do the front myself probably, but uh, I'm not, I can't drop the rear subframe for the sway bar. Uh, the, you know, all the bushings and all that stuff. So, um, expensive, I'm pretty sure. BMW Performance Shift Knob to go in there to match the uh, parking brake. Uh, I think it would just be a nice, you know, compliment. Uh, nothing big, pretty cheap, easy to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, mash that subscribe button if you're new. Please leave this video a big thumbs up and, uh, God, these mosquitoes are going bad. Let me know the next move. I'm going inside and getting away from these bugs.